given. In the last video, we had discussed about model binding. In this video, we are going to learn how to create custom model binding. Just like in the index, we have created that one one form tag with that three fields. One is the student ID, student name, and code. And the controllers, there is created that one one action result one with that method name is index, and we are passing some value. But so let's see. And that model, model with that student ID, student name, and code. But this check. Uh, let's see, take the example. If you have a big project, and that uh, two three persons, and maybe more than person are working on that. So one person is doing that. Uh, you you can say that why that view part. Another person is doing that. Your controller part, and and one other one is the model part. Okay. So it's not that uh, both. Are matching just like that student ID, but here that student ID will not match. They have written like that stu ID, and the name they have written like a stu u name, and one more thing they can write like a stu then code. So if we it they will write like that, but if we we'll check that one that uh, it's not matching with that your model. And you are trying to pass that particular model. Let's see, you will not get the value. Just run the application. Now, if you we'll enter that student ID, just like one thousand one student name. And the student count is zero zero one. Once you press the submit, let's see. You are getting that null value because it's not binding. Binding will happen once that your model, that particular model, should match with that your view. So in this scenario, we can create that custom model. So how will create that custom model? Just uh, create one folder. That is a add new folder. I'm going to write like a custom model. In that custom model, I'm going to right click the class that I'm going to write because this one for students. So I'm going to write that student binder. Okay. That is student binder. Now I'm going to use I model binder. So check that if you look clearly, it's there is a two name space it's using first one is a system dot wave dot model binding and second one is that system dot wave dot mvc you should use that for system dot wave dot mvc just click this one and try to implement implement this just did this one so going to write like http request P request base equal to request equal to controller context dot HTTP context dot request. Hmm. So first one will be the string. Um, string you can write like a str. Student ID. So going to request dot form dot get. It will be this one will be the code is that student ID stu ID. Okay. Same like for other two. That for name str name. So here it will be that review to go and check that student name. So write that student name here. And third one is that code. So it will check the S2 code and the right here student code. Then it will be return new 
that your student model then now here you are going to bind student model Let's add the reference here Here you can see the model, your student ID should match with your STR student ID. Just convert to convert dot to ID thirty two. Make an teaser. Then write same thing for other two. Next one will be the go to the student model, copy the name. and this one will be the code so no need to cast because it's string okay name copy this one name and str code so this part is done so here i have implemented i model binder okay so in the implementation you will get that for this particular method need to implement so first uh, http request base and then assigning that uh, particular the value the which uh, i am getting from that view that is uh, to id to name and to do code now come to the controller because here it's a uh, passing here here to write you have to use that model binder attribute Right here, model binder. Then okay. type of type of your student binder. This one student binder. Implement this one. Okay. Now now it's done. Now if you run the application. Now going to add the value one thousand take two thousand and I click on submit. Now you can see that value. Now you can see it's binding now. Both are but if you look that for index one and that your model is not same. But uh, we are making that bridge between that that is when we creating that custom model binder here. So that binder. So I'm assigning that particular that your student model to that index that view. Field that is to str student ID. Here I am assigning the student ID and this one that view model. Now here you are getting that value. Okay. I hope it's clear. Thanks for watching.